going on in Beverly Hills. Listen, we're watching it this season because they got Garcelle and of course they got Will Smith's ex-wife, Sheree. Sheree? I think it's Sheree, right? They have her on there. It's going to be good. Now listen, a lot of stuff's been coming out of Beverly Hills. Let's talk about what's the most important. Erica Jane is literally being chased down for $1.4 million earrings. You know she ain't nothing but a scam and she was married to a con artist and this ain't no allegedly, right? It's still being proved. Actually, it's not even being proved. Important. The bankruptcy case is ripping itself apart saying this is for sure. He was a con, but you know she's a scam. What is she doing now? $1.4 million earrings. She's trying there. The bankruptcy judge was like, girl, you got to turn those over so we can pay the orphans and widows. And what did Miss Protected by Bravo do? Oh, I don't know where they are. I really can't find them, girl. You don't know where your $1.4 million earrings are. Anyway, they found video footage that, yes, you do know where the earrings are. She needs to come up off that money, right? However, she did get some good news. One of her lawsuits got dismissed in Illinois. However, the story's not over. And y'all, why is Bravo already starting drama between them? It seems like Garcelle, Sheree, Sutton, and all, and Erica Jane all got in on it. It was her against the world. Y'all, let's get into this mess. Let's talk with the one thing that little scammer is probably concerned about. There was a lawsuit pending in the bankruptcy thing and they attached Erica Jane as one of the people that had to play pay. This lawsuit was made in Illinois. However, it got dismissed. But guess what? Erica Jane shouldn't be so happy because Ronald Richards, that was the attorney working on the bankruptcy, but then he was making too much commotion and somehow he either left or got fired. It's still up in the air depending on who you talk to, right? Seems to be like Porson's situation with Real Housewives of, of, of season 14. Did she jump or was she pushed? Oddly enough, we just know that Ronald Richards is no longer on the case. However, he weighed in because you know he's always going to. And he said, listen, even though it was dismissed in Illinois, he thinks it was strategic and he thinks any moment from now, uh, they're going to refile in California to really stick it to Erica. It's funny, right? California's laws must be really, really good to victims. Scammers of abuse because Nicki Minaj's case that was dropped in New York is about to be refiled in California. And also, it looks like if Ron Richards can be believed, Erica Jane's case is going to be refi uh, refiled in California. We're going to keep an eye on that. Now, let's move to the gossip. Right, so, this comes right to our line, right? And they begin saying, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane was flaunting her jewelry for the world to see only months before her husband Tom Girardi was accused of buying expensive earrings for with her for his client's money. Y'all, y'all be thinking I'm lying. These scams, you think a scammer is that person on the corner with playing $20 Monty. Usually they're the person with a mansion, nobody knows how they pay for it, new cars, but ain't no businesses. And you're just like, how are, I don't mean to be in somebody's pockets, but how are you living about these means? Listen, y'all can be happy kissing the feet of scammers. That's fine. But I'm going to be a little investigative and I'll always blow the top off of it. That's right. Also, you guys, let me know if you want me to review Real Housewives of Beverly Hills this year. Because we are going to keep our foot on Erica's neck. Y'all want me to be an equal opportunity, opportunity investigative reporter? <laughs> well, I will. So then Rayner goes to say that she even showed, um, I think Erica did an interview with Marie Claire, the fashion magazine in 2020, and they literally showed that she still had those earrings on, right? In that thing, it's a three minute clip where she's showing off, talking about, oh, I chased down this Cartier ring. I'm sorry, let me do Erica. I chased down this Cartier, no, that's Simon, hold on. I chased down this Cartier ring, and then I had these earrings, and then I have this. Yes, I have more money than you. Aren't you jealous? That basically was a three-minute clip of her humble bragging. Not even humble bragging, just bragging about what she got. Why is that important? Because literally, the bankruptcy people are like, yo... You need to come off that money. When he bought that for you, he was knee deep in borrowed money and literally taking from the law firm that was bought with client money. You need to come off of them. Being a scammer to a heart she is, instead of just being like, yes, fine, give it to the orphans. Because you are living in a great house. You already have more than you know what to do. And you're making an estimate at 1.5 million per season. Give them orphans the money, right? literally re refused to turn over the earrings claiming they were purchased by her then rich husband. She literally said that she innocently received a gift of earrings from her now estranged husband who at the time was extraordinarily wealthy. Your defense is that he bought this 
with his money he earned and not with the money he scammed. Yo, the level of disgustingness I feel for this woman, they're a pair of diamond earrings. You can literally go and get a fake pair of diamond earrings and act like they're the same ones and nobody would ever know, but you fighting for that money, huh? Who cares who has to pay for your thing? And there's a million people on the internet talking about it's expensive to be me they don't care all they care is about living their fantasy yo i see why scammers win because there's a lot of people i'm thinking that if they had their opportunity and had the courage they'd be scammers too right they let her attorney went on to say that's completely innocent not even the trustee alleges that erica knew the source of the funds that her wealthy husband used to buy her gift of earrings 15 years ago which replaced a prior set of earrings that were bought years prior to that erica and her husband were only married for 20 years what the hell are they talking about right the judge is yet to rule i hope they take those earrings just because how I, again we're gonna get into the regular gossip but again, how, disg how disgusting can you be not to come off of any money to pay those people that went into your lavish lifestyle and your singles that flopped and all that other stuff, y'all? And the fact that there's so many people worshiping at our feet, but what am I talking about? We saw that on Real Housewives of Atlanta and Portia Family Matters. There's a million suckers and dummies that will worship at the feet of celebrity and money, even if it means that they lied, robbed, steal, cheat, and did whatever. Y'all, we ain't got time. Let's get into the funny stuff and pray for not even for Erica Jane, because I understand why she's doing it, right? Not even for scamming. Because I understand why he's doing it too. He about to meet his maker. He want to live it up. YOLO before he goes. But let's talk about those special sick people. But let's talk about those special sick people. That will stand by his side and support him and retweet stuff. Just cause y'all going to hell. Mark my words. When you at those pearly gates and they drop kick you down to where you deserve to be. Just remember you had a chance to do right. But you chose evil. I hope it was worth it. Anyway let's get to the gossip but not least we have the gossip from real housewives of beverly hills coming in hot yo they talk about that there was an explosive fight between sutton garcelle and will smith's ex-wife sheree that's just joining the real housewives of beverly hills and of course erica jane they literally this is through radar online they're literally saying that erica came in hot she hasn't gotten over what happened last season and garcelle came in hot too listen one I'm glad Garcelle is standing up for herself against Erica. They said Sutton unfollowed her after Garcelle unfollowed Erica, right? And I'm glad that Sutton is holding her ground. Now, oddly enough, I see Crystal Sills play in the middle. Girl, be that neutral Cynthia if you want. But we saw what happened to Cynthia. Every year she was on the chopping block. And then when she finally got her wish proposal, they literally cut her. I don't know. Maybe we'll see Crystal Minkinall on Celebrity Big Brother. But you know what the weird thing is? It makes me wonder, what is Crystal doing this for? Because her husband is super influential and super, he's super rich. So it makes me think, do you want to leave him? Do you just want your own identity? She's busy making uh, coconut coladas with peppermint on Instagram. Mango mojitos. I'm just joking. I do actually watch her recipes, right? And a mean garlic scallion fish. I'm dragging Crystal, but yo, I do watch her Instagram cookie shows because... Yeah, I watch them because you know I love watching cookie shows. But y'all, let's get back into this. They're talking about explosive things happen. They still haven't got over it. All this stuff, Sutton and Fall, Sharia. Ah, you know what I think is happening? I think the producers aren't stupid and they're literally trying to create hype because again, isn't the same thing happening with Sheree and Kenya and Marlo and everybody else, Andrew? I think this is the way the producers are giving us a heads up that there's drama without giving away the storyline. Because everybody's just like, why they unfollow? Why they unfollow? Why they unfollow? I'll leave it at this, right? You know, I also think this is be. I'm not saying the season's not going to be good because we are reviewing it, right? Now that they fired that racist we call Jenny a uh, win, um, we can literally get back to having fun. Let me know if you want me to review Beverly Hills. I'm going to do it anyway, but I'm just taking a temperature, right? But also, I think this is all BS is because Kyle posted a uh, uh, Instagram live. It was is an Instagram story, an Instagram post where they're all down still in Mexico. Garcelle is sitting there next to Erica. They're loved up and having fun. Sutton is sitting there next to Crystal. They're all kikiing and laughing. Y'all, I don't care. Listen, get that money. Get the check. Do what the producers tell you. Just please bring us a good show. In the meantime, I hope the allegedly fake scene between Garcelle, Sutton, and Sheree, I hope they got their foot on Erica's neck and why they're there. They snatch off those earrings to send back to the widows and children. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later, my little tough selves. Bye.